Polar explorer Eric Phillips has become the first Australian in space under the Aussie flag. He was the mission specialist and team medic on board the four-day SpaceX flight, which splashed down yesterday. The team's mission, to be the first to orbit the North and South Poles to research the effects of long space flights on the human body and, strangely, to grow mushrooms. Mm -hmm. well, safely back on <laughs> Earth and about to face his biggest adventure yet, an interview with the Sunday Project. It is Eric Phillips. Eric, you have already trekked across the North and the South Poles on foot. What made you want to take it to space? Uh, look, the, the funny thing is that I grew up in the Apollo era and I remember as a seven-year-old sitting down on a seat in the gymnasium with my classmates and looking at, at this fuzzy telly. We knew something important was happening. It was the moon landing. And ever since then, I had this desire, I guess, to go into space, not ever thinking that it can happen until I got a text from this guy who I had guided as a, as a you know, one of our team members on an expedition in Svalbard. And the text said, essentially, want to come into space? That's wow. how it happened. You were up there doing a bunch of experiments looking into the effects of space travel on the body. What kinds of things were you actually testing for? Well, one of the issues for long duration flight is a reducing of bone density. Um, and we know this from, uh, from long missions on board the International Space Station. And astronauts up there, they actually train for up to two hours every single day. And some of, their, some of them are up there for months, six months at a time. They need to do two hours of training in order to mitigate the loss of, uh, of, of bone density. We need to know if people break their bones. Uh, so we took the first x-ray in space. That was wow. a, a pretty breakthrough moment. What did it feel like when you actually stepped onto solid ground after the four days? Like, did you have space legs? <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy smoke. That was just... That was like gravity sucks. Like up there, it's 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 incredible. You just, like as soon as we were inserted into orbit, we see our restraints, our seat belts, oh. just slowly floating up above us, and we realise that, okay, we are now in a very special place. We undid our restraints, and our bodies just float. So if you want to wow. go to the other side of the spaceship, there, you just push yourself very gently from one side, and you kind of float over. Now, when you get down. Uh, and, and, of course, plunging down through the atmosphere, you feel the G-forces up to 4.6, and the compression on the chest is astonishing. Wow. And um, you feel your face being pulled back, then you get down on Earth, and then you step out of that, uh, that spacecraft onto the ship, and it's like you weigh a 1,000 pounds. It's just nuts. Uh, space mushrooms. Um, we're not talking about a Bushdorf music festival. <laughs> what, what was it like? What were they about? Well, for starters, they were pretty damn magic. We, um, we, we took this, this research project on board because one of the other important considerations for long duration space flight is nutrition. We would take them out, we would observe them very closely, we, we would take photographs, and we could see the very early signs of growth for colonisation on this substrate. Wow. So really good indications that mushrooms will indeed grow in space. Eric, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Bye-bye.